Hello folks, welcome to the Obitax Taxpayer Channel. So I want to cover a couple of items today. Uh, questions about how to purchase cryptocurrency. I also want to cover some news bits. Um, but first I want to start off by saying yes, I ordered my gold coin. I'm still waiting for it to be sent. I haven't even received a uh, tracking number yet. So I have not forgotten that. I plan on opening the package as soon as I get it. Who knows when it's going to be shipped. So some tidbits in the news, you know, I can't help from wondering, you know, you get all these, uh, these newscasters, uh, I'll call them the elite, because not just newscasters, they're all kinds of uh, music uh, celebrities, actors, yes, newscasters, anchors, everybody's reporting from their home, um, and I want to talk about the news anchors uh, in specific you know they're working and they're making I don't know what a news anchor makes I, I really don't can I just be on the conservative side they're a public figure on television we'll just shoot conservatively 100 150 K that's conservative now, Lord knows, they might even be breaking a million. I don't know. But let's just call it 150 k They're working from home telling you we're all in it together. Just, just stay put. Don't go back to work. You see the hypocrisy in that? It, we're all in this. We'll get by. We're going to, you know, this is the new norm, folks. You know, <laughs> uh, so we're not all in it together. And yes, I will say this, I'm lucky to have a job, but I'm not telling people to stay home. Um, what else is in the news? Well, Nancy Pelosi and the pretty much the entire uh, left-wing party, I mean, they're all for your rights uh, your, to do what you want with your body. Uh, you want to be a homosexual? Fine. You want to... Uh, relate, you want to uh, say you're, you know, you're a man and you want to, re you know, you want to be recognized as a woman, that's your right. You want to go use the same sex bathroom, that's your right. Uh, um, you want to have abortions, unlimited, no questions asked, it's your right. And we'll even let the taxpayers pay for that too. But the president takes hydrochloroquine and, and all of a sudden, your right to choose is out the window. No, it's not your right. No, no. He, he's making a fatal mistake taking that. He's sending the wrong message. He's doing something very careless. He's doing something harmless to his health. First of all, it requires a prescription, and the doctor who prescribes it has a little knowledge. He's not doing something harmful to himself. It's not like he went to the corner and bought a baggie of hydrochloroquine. It was prescribed by what I would assess as a very uh, good doctor, you know, taking care of the president. So this doctor had knowledge, and uh, I think um, uh, when the news says, well, you know, other people are going to go and take hydrochloroquine, Look at all the people that are going to die because President Trump has taken it. Well, first of all, again, those people who are watching or listening to President Trump taking hydrochloroquine cannot go down to the corner and just buy a baggie of hydrochloroquine. No, they need to go to their doctors and get it prescribed. And the doctor, if they feel, if that doctor or doctors feel that that prescription is warranted, they will prescribe them hydrochloroquine. If not, they'll prescribe them whatever will ail them at the time. Bottom line is, no one's going to die because the president's taking it. Okay. Well, I covered, uh, we're not all in it together. Uh, they're making 150 k minimum from home. Um, and people are told not to go to work. They're told not to go to work. And we don't give a damn if you got bills to pay. We don't give a damn if the mortgage company is threatening to throw you out on the street or 
or the rental property is thrown. We don't care. Stay at home. We'll, we'll, we're, we'll get through this together. Notice that the word together, it doesn't include, I haven't received a payment. And notice that these rich people are not sending us payments. Um, it is amazing. Anyway, cryptocurrencies. I'm getting a lot of questions on how to get and purchase them. Okay, first, in order to get cryptocurrencies, by the way, I made a video. And you could either do a search. I'll put a link in the uh, video description. It actually goes through the screens on how to, um, at the time, was one of the only ways to get cryptos. But um, I'll, I'm going to post that video. Perhaps since then, some new methods have come out. But you need to first get um, your cash into the crypto market. The easiest way to do that is to go to Coinbase, sign up for a free account. Um, and you can then transfer cash into Coinbase. Now, you can do it by two methods, check or debit card. Now, keep in mind, check, uh, Coinbase will wait for that check to clear. And it could take up to 10 business days before you actually receive your cryptocurrency. I always recommend people to attach a debit card. That way the payment is instant. There's no, there's no waiting. It's an inch, it, uh, instant purchase from the moment you hit uh, purchase. You, you got whatever you purchased. There's no, there's no waiting. So I always get a question, okay, how do I get the cash? So Coinbase. And then you can purchase Bitcoin, Litecoin, and a couple of others. And if you want just to retain those, fine. You can leave it on Coinbase. I don't recommend it. I would put it on a wallet. Uh, Exodus is a little better of a wallet. So you can then transfer it to Exodus, which means you would need to set up an account on Exodus. Again, I made a video on how to do all of this. The question now comes into play, how do I get Digibyte? Because that seems to be the latest interest of people. Again, if you don't have any cryptocurrency and you're starting fresh, you need to get some cryptocurrency and then send it to an exchange to exchange that cryptocurrency for Digibyte. Again, I always turn to Coinbase. Why do I like Coinbase? It's very, very, it's idiot, idiot proof. I tried to sign up for Bittrex. Yeah, I could not figure out how to use Bittrex. And I'm a computer guy. I could not figure it out. I, I transferred some uh, cryptocurrency to Bittrex, hoping to trade it for Digibyte. Couldn't figure it out. The only way I can figure is if I put cash, attach uh, cash, but I didn't want to. I wanted to use it as an exchange. So you go, if you want Digibyte, you go to Coinbase and you buy some either Litecoin or Bitcoin. The easiest method, it's not the only method, it's the easiest method, is then to transfer that Bitcoin or Litecoin to Exodus. The easiest method, never said anything about being the cheapest method either. It is the easiest method, though. Transfer that Bitcoin or Litecoin to Exodus. Once that Bitcoin or Litecoin is registered on Exodus, you can then go to the uh, Exchange tab and exchange that Bitcoin or Litecoin for Digibyte. Um, next question came up, where do I store it? Well, you can leave it on Exodus. I always recommend to people, do not leave your cryptocurrency on exchanges. Some have been uh, hacked in the past. However, it's a double-edged sword. So I, I purchased a Nano S. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wallet, and all my cryptocurrencies is on here. But this item, I believe, was $200. Was it 200 You could double check the price. It's not worth it if you only have 20 or $30 worth of crypto. So I would recommend perhaps leaving it on Exodus until you get enough to purchase this. Does it make sense to spend close to $200 on something like this? Or even $100 on something like this? If you only have 30 no. So you could temporarily leave it on Exodus. Again, I say Exodus and Bitcoin... Uh, together because they are, for the new people, idiot proof. Totally idiot proof. I had another question on how to sell 
DigiByte. A lot of people are into DigiByte lately. And that could be because the price has been up. So to sell DigiByte, when that time does come, you're going to need to transfer it back to wherever, whatever account has a, a debit card or a checking account attached to it. For me, it's Coinbase again. At the time, uh, when that time comes, I will not be able to transfer Digibyte to Coinbase because Coinbase does not deal with Digibyte. So what I'll have to do is do everything in reverse. I'll either have to trade that Digibyte for Litecoin or Bitcoin, transfer it to Coinbase, and then transfer uh, what's on Coinbase, put it up for sale, and then transfer those funds to my checking account or savings account. That doesn't mean in the future I'm not going to find a better way or perhaps in the future I'll even learn how to use Bittrex. I don't know, but uh, I'm just saying Coinbase and Excess because I do believe after everything I've tried, it was the most simplistic um, duo for uh, obtaining cryptocurrencies. The good thing about Exodus also is that's considered an exchange. Once you're on Exodus, and once you get some Litecoin or Bitcoin on Exodus, you don't just have to get Digibyte. You can exchange it for anything they have in their list. They have te <coughs> they have Tezos, they they have uh, Theta Fuel, they have Theta, um, they have Chainlink, um, they have Litecoin there too. So perhaps you want Litecoin and you want to get Litecoin. They have Bitcoin there too as well. They've got a slew of things that you can purchase. Neo, um, did I say Tezos and um, XRP? They got tons of stuff. So to me, if you're just starting out and you need training wheels, Coinbase and Exus are the are are going to be the most easiest um, route. Anyway, folks, take care. I got to run, and um, I can see, getting back a little bit, I can see that we're just being used as pawns, you know, um, and I can see more every day that this is just a political ploy to stay at home and, and whatnot. Anyway, folks, take care.